It's a resolution heard at the beginning of many a year, quitting smoking. But beating nicotine for good can be a tough battle for many smokers. Now one group of scientists is working on a vaccine that could put an end to the addiction. Kim Janda and his team at the Scripps Research Institute in Southern California are focused on ending addiction. His work has ranged from treatments for cocaine to heroin to methamphetamine, but his research just published in the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry centers on a new approach to nicotine. We've kind of looked outside the box and said, you know, we're not going to try to mess with brain chemistry. We're going to just stop the um, culprit from getting to the brain in the first place. Many addiction treatments use drugs that simply block receptors of the addictive substance in the brain. Janda's approach is to get the body's immune system to treat nicotine like a foreign invader and trap it before it can have any effect. The problem with that is getting the body to respond consistently. Individuals vary greatly in their immune response, and so um, that's the real difficulty, is trying to get a, a very robust response that will work over a, an entire population. Another big hurdle with immune therapy is making sure the body is creating antibodies for the right molecules. If you're making an immune response to nicotine, it's in what's, the natural isomer is what's called the S isomer. So let's say my left hand. And um, if you're using an a impure mixture that has both my left hand and right hand, you're making antibodies to both. And so what you're doing is wasting the immune response on the right hand when you want it to go to the left hand. Janda says this was the problem behind another nicotine vaccine from other researchers that failed in phase three clinical trials. If you believe that the vaccine that went through all these phase clinical trials was pretty good and just came up a little short, then you know, what we've shown you know, could move something along a lot faster. Janda wants his research to help change the perception of addiction from a moral failure of the individual to a scientific challenge of treating a brain disease. Help is needed, and uh, you know, if, if we can provide it as, as one adjunct using this vaccine, this would be great. ACS Headline Science is produced by the American Chemical Society. For more of the latest science news, why not subscribe to ACS?